The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are first in the world to use twin island design, but why they adopt this unusual arrangement? Well, all you need to know is that the reason for the two split islands is the exhaust stacks for the engines. The QE class carriers aren't nuclear powered like US carriers, they are conventional fuel burning ships, and have exhaust smokestacks. The exhaust needs to go through each island to efficiently dissipate. If QE class did not have two islands then she would have to have one large island like on the Invincible class, to accommodate the separate exhausts which was less preferable, because two smaller islands allow more room on the flight deck, forward island is for ship control functions and rear island is for flight control, but it isn't just about smokestack placement, it's more about battle strategy and survivability. The carriers were designed with all scenario possible thinking. Many of the vital systems of the QE carriers are not grouped together in one place but rather dispersed over several areas, so that one hit on the engine compartment will not take out both engines. This same principle applies with the two islands, if one island is destroyed in battle, the other can take over its function.